We're creepy and we're kooky, mysterious and spooky, we're all together ooky. We're Dan and Sean and is it... I nearly couldn't get that out because <laughs> I, I, I couldn't hold in a laugh. I only just did it. Okay, good stuff. I'm enjoying this. I know Welcome these ones. back. <laughs> Obscure 70s rock, I don't know. But TV themes, I'm in. <laughs> I'm all in. Okay, brilliant. Um, what are we looking at today, Sean? Well, I had an email from a nice <laughs> chap from thehomerecordings.com. Oh, right. And uh, he said, how do you fancy having a look at some of our plugins? Yeah. So... Um, he sent some of his plugins over. No, Excellent stuff. No money has exchanged hands. Mm-hmm. No funny business. Not done anything nice for him. He's not done anything nice for us. <laughs> well, he sent you some free plugins. No, I think they're just demos. Anyway. Oh, right. anyway. anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, first of all, we're going to look at D Bleed. And it's not the bleed. It's not like short for the bleed. It's not the bleed, man. It's, it's no. D Bleed. D Bleed. As in unbleed. Unbleed. And it's a. It's a processor specifically for removing symbol bleed. Ah, I think somebody's mentioned this to me. And I... Didn't Carlos Muchachos mention one? Was it this one he was on about? Anyway, we'll, Ooh, find, maybe. we'll find out. Yeah. Maybe. Someone has definitely mentioned it. Yeah, I've definitely heard of it before. Mm. Um, I didn't read any of the blurb or, or pay any attention to anything that the nice man said in his email. So That's not like you, Sean. I, I just installed <laughs> it and started playing with it. And yeah. I just thought it was a drum gate. That was really good. Mm-hmm. It's a really good drum gate. Mm-hmm. You know, you select kicks, snare, or toms, and and it, and it gates them really easily. So I was quite chuffed with it. And then then I read the blurb and, it, and I'm like, oh, symbol bleed. And then I tried that. I've got a load of recent mm. live drum recordings. Pretty damn amazing. It must be the hard. one because Carl said he used the term black magic fuckery. There's some black magic fuckery going. on. I would on. agree. There's some black magic <laughs> fuckery going on with this. Nice term, Carl. Thanks very much, mate. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 100%, because it's, you know, gating. We all know what a gated drum when there's a cymbal bleed going on mm-hmm. sounds like. It's 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 horrible. In fact, I think I talked about it a few months ago. I was mixing something where there was horrible cymbal bleed, mm. and it kind of ruined my life. I couldn't get rid of it. Uh, this gets rid of it. Does in, it? In a really cool, yeah, really simple. Really, really simple. It sort of does itself. You, 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 you've only got two controls you can really mess with. Well, you've got attack and release, but it, it just does it. It just does it very simply. Uh, Without interfering with the sound of the the actual source. Yeah, you can go too far, and then it does yeah, interfere. Course, but yeah, yeah. but it, it's the best thing out there if you have an issue with cymbal bleed. Mm-hmm. Get this. Okay. So, uh, are there any controls to take us through? It looks pretty basic. It's really. pretty basic. So you select your source, whether it's you know a kick, snare, or a tom. Um, you've got your threshold. You click analyze. Uh, you can set an external mm. side chain. You can bypass it. Um, it's working via sort of artificial insemination again, isn't it? Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you set. You literally just. You, you just mess with it until the bleed is gone. The release and the hold, same as like if you're working with a regular gate, they do exactly the same. But the D bleed control, it, it's just. You just oh, there it is. Mm. Done. And that's kind of it. Brilliant. It's really, really nice. So. Yeah, ghost does what you think it would do. It, it, it's it's deciding whether the ghost notes are going to affect whether they're, right, not, whether okay. they're getting through, whether they're not. Um, really cool. Some nice presets which really help get you started, but you don't really need them. I would just just mess with it. Just crack on with it. Yeah. Um, okay. Are we, we're, we're doing two plugins. We're doing two plugins from so, these guys. So we demo. Can you get demos? I'm assuming it's the same for both. Yeah, seven day demo. Okay. And it's normally forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. Which I think if you do a lot of drum mixing, that's mm-hmm. just just. That's worth it, but in the sale it's thirty nine ninety nine dollars. Bargain, absolute bargain. Yeah, yeah. So that's very cool. Do you want to do two? Is it shit? So we're going to do an overall sort of. We'll do they... an overall. It could be our first. Are they shit? Are they shit? God, I have to get a new t shirt. <laughs> yeah, um, but you need new t shirt. Yeah, I need loads. So the second one we're going to look at mm-hmm. from the same people, the Home Recordings dot com, is yep. MB Control, and MB obviously standing for multi band. So this mm-hmm. is a multi band compressor. Um, much like a lot of them these days, it looks quite similar to the SSL one. Yeah. Um, it's got all the controls you would expect. Um, obviously, you've got your, your master input. You then have on each individual one the things you would expect. You have an on-off, you have a threshold, you have a makeup. You have your ratio, your attack, your release. You can then have a harmonic control. You can drive harmonics in mm-hmm. more or less, whatever you want. Uh, you have all setting for each one of the compressors. 
you can solo each one of the compressors. You can adjust the mix of each one of the compressors. Jeez. You can also select sync. So it will BPM sync, which, which that's quite useful. Mm. Down the bottom with this standard sort of multiband compressor sort of look, you can grab these lines and move the thresholds around and see what's going on. Meters are pretty cool as well. Meters are pretty cool, yeah. yeah. You've got your vintage meters up here and your sort of more modern one down the bottom. It's a very cool thing. It's um, it's interesting. The saturation on it, the harmonic bit, is actually quite nice. The auto gain setting on on it generally works very well. Yeah, it's it's hard to hard to find a fault with it. Wow. The MB control is f normally fifty nine ninety nine. Mm -hmm. In the sale right now, it's forty nine ninety nine dollars, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. Same as the other one, yep. seven days. Wicked. Yeah. Wicked. So the can I just have a read yes. the the home recordings home recordings dot com MB control and D bleed yes are they shit they are not shit they no. are very good aren't they they're bargains yeah they're bargains uh, you know you know what's going to happen there's going to be people out there that will only buy big brands mm. and buy things that say SSL or API or something like that and then there'll be people that just want tools to do, do the job yeah and this this will do the job. Wicked stuff. Uh, please don't forget to like the Skew With video. <laughs> and also subscribe to the channel and you can become a channel member. And there's... What if you become the highest tier of channel membership? If you become the highest tier of channel member, you get one free master from my mastering business every month, Ooh. which is worth 50 quid. So that's worth doing just yep. for that. Yeah. Anyway, that's all for now. Uh, excellent stuff. Sayonara, suckers. See you later.